Welcome, Dr. Kokaro. As uh, chairman of the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Chicago, we're a pleasure to have you and share your insights. Thank you very much. Uh, Tell us, please, a little bit about psychiatry, the field of psychiatry, what it is and how it works. Psychiatry is that specialty of medicine that deals with mental disorders and behavioral disorders. And it began about 100 years ago or so, and it looked at largely signs and symptoms. And then when you had Freud coming on board, he started looking at psychodynamic concepts and neuroses and those sorts of things. Then, as we began to understand that they were genetic aspects and biological aspects to behavior, and we began to see that medications could make uh, positive changes in those behaviors, we entered the field of neurobiology and psychopharmacology. And so now what we really have is sort of a behavioral neuroscience field that takes advantage not only of the history of uh, understanding psychodynamic issues, but also uh, the, the biological and neuroscience aspects of behavior, and hopefully targeting those kinds of pathologies to make people uh, better. And what inspired you uh, to enter psychiatry as you uh, like, uh, were at one point pre-med and aspiring physician? What inspired, uh, inspired you for psychiatry in particular? I was always interested in, um, in behavioral issues and people who had problems with uh, their mood and anxiety and those kinds of things. And I sort of naturally had this tendency to be almost therapist-like with, uh, with my friends. And so later down the road, when psychiatry became much more of a medically-based kind of field, I decided this may be something that I, I should actually study and do. And uh, now that you're one of the top leading uh, people in the field, what are some of the satisfactions and challenges to being a psychiatrist? Well, when you're treating a patient, the biggest satisfaction is seeing them get better. You know, having someone come in and be, uh, you know, fairly depressed and unable to sort of function and do the things that they normally do and enjoy. And uh, either through your talk therapy, your cognitive behavioral therapy, your medication, or a combination of those, see them actually get out of that depression and go back to work and be able to be a happy person. That's very satisfying. On the academic side, what's satisfying is sort of figuring out what's wrong with certain sort of disorders and understanding new ways to treat those disorders so you can make people better. Uh, if you're a researcher, as like I am, the satisfaction comes from knowing that you have added to the knowledge base of the field so that you can impact patients who are in other cities or other countries simply because you've done the work to uh, make people understand that treating individuals with um, certain medications, certain kind of therapies will actually make them better. And how about the challenges? The challenges in psychiatry are multifold. One is that we don't know enough about the brain and how it works and how we can make people better. And other challenges are the fact that still there are people out there with mental disorders that are afraid to come for treatment or afraid to see psychiatrists because of the stigma. And of course, uh, probably because of the stigma as well, uh, the insurance companies, the third party payers don't pay equally for disorders such as psychiatry or pediatrics or medicine as they do for the surgical specialties. And so we're not as well funded. So, uh, to end, uh, what advice would you have for future doctors, pre-meds, uh, people aspiring to a career in medicine? I think the first thing is that medicine is a career that you should go into because you want to be a physician, not because you think it's going to be prestigious or going to give you a, a lot of money, because those are, those are goals that you're going to get frustrated. And some people make a lot of money in medicine, and some people are fairly prestigious, but you really have to want to treat patients and get them better. For psychiatry, we really want you to understand that it's a full-fledged medical specialty that also is biological as well as psychological, so that hopefully people who think about going into psychiatry don't, don't shy away from it because it's not seen as, not seen as such a medical subspecialty, which it is. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Kokara. Thank you.